Hello students and welcome to the new lecture session. Myself, Songkhu Hoos, Assistant Professor of Automobile Engineering Department at Dr. Sudhir Chandrasu Degree Engineering College under the JIS. Today, we will start a discussion on a new topic that is fuel cell. Which is taken from the module number one of Trends in Automotive Power Plant. And this is taken from the subject of Modern Vehicle Technology subject. And this is the this is the sub this is the seventh semester automobile engineering students subject. And this subject and the subject code is AUE704. This is an elective subject. Before I start the today's class. We want to introduce this subject here. So as I told, the subject name is Modern Vehicle Technology and the subject code is AUE 704B. This is an this is an elective subject for the seventh semester automobile engineering students they can easily select this subject select this subject select this subject so why should i select this subject because this subject is divided into seven modules and the op first of all we need to know what is the objective of this subject the objective of this subject to understand to under, understand about the new techniques those are used in the modern vehicle those are used in the modern vehicle and beside this we can easily compare the the old vehicle technology and the compare the old vehicle technology and the modern vehicle technology so as this is the objective of the subject this subject is divided into seven modules that is one number one is trends in automotive power plant number two is suspension braking and safety number three is vehicle operation and control Number four, two wheeler technology. Number five, latest Indian technology feature. Number six, X by Y technology. And number seven, that is 42 volt system. So from these seven models, there are seven objectives. For the for the for the first module, that is change in automotive on the power plant. The objective is just to understand the various techniques, the various chain those are used in the automotive power plant, and to understand the differences in between the various new techniques, very new trends. Number two, that is the module is suspension, brakes, and safety. Here, the objective is to understand the various kinds of suspension, brake, and the safety. Features, those are which are those are used in the sorry, those are used in the automobile. Number three is vehicle operation and the control. The objective is that to understand the various kind of operation technique and the control technique of the vehicle. Then it may be from from the point of view of the electronics or sensors. Those which are used in this vehicle, then it can come maybe from the point of view of the fuel economy or the emissions level. level. Next is the number four, that is the two-wheeler technology. And the objective is that to understand the new techniques which is used in the vehicle, the two-wheeler, two-wheeler. To understand this this new technique which is which is used in this two-wheeler. Number five is the latest Indian technology features. Here, to, the objective is to understand the latest technology features over the 
conventional features next is the next the next number 6 is x by y technology the objective is to understand about the x by y technology its advantage and disadvantage over the previous technology number 7 is 42 volt system so 42 volt system and the objective of this system is to understand about the this new feature and compare the in between the conventional system and this new system so student these are the objectives of this modern vehicle technology so and the, what are the outcomes from this subject student can easily understand about the various new techniques or trends those are used in this automobile sector what are the new techniques those are used in the two wheeler section section what are the various kinds of suspension brakes and safety purpose we follow what was the automotive automobile industry follow for this new for this a new vehicle they can they can easily understand about the x by y technology and the 42 volt system and they can easily find out the latest technology they can easily know about the latest technology which is used in this automobile sector so this is the objective now after knowing this now now we are coming to the today's class today we will discuss on the new topic that is called fuel cell so student let's start the today's class on fuel cell fuel cell is an electrochemical device or is an electrochemical cell which converts chemical energy into electrical energy basically it is produce energy from chemical reaction into electrical reaction it combines hydrogen and oxygen it combines hydrogen and oxygen to produce electricity beside the electricity water and heat are the by products of the fuel cell this fuel cell uh, for the basic fuel cell the basic fuel is hydrogen and as an oxidizing agent oxygen is so hydrogen is the main basic fuel and besides this oxygen is also required for this fuel cell after the combination of these two chemical or two gas hydrogen and oxygen they produce electricity so this is the basically fuel cell next comes to the history in the year of 1838 the year of 1838 38 sir william grove sir william grove the first person who invented the fuel cell the year of 1838 mm, sir william grove was the first person sir william grove was the first person who invented the fuel cell here in this picture this is the, this is a picture of sir william grove and this is the picture of his invented first fuel cell here they use sulfuric acid solution water and in this factor they can invented the fuel cell so this is the basic history now comes to the timeline of the fuel cell in the year of 1801 sir 
Humphrey Davy demonstrate the principle of fluency. As we know, here in the year of 1838, Sir William Rowe first invented the fuel cell. Before his invention, before his in, before William Rowe's invention, Sir Humphrey Davy, Sir Humphrey Davy, in the year of 1801, demonstrated the principle of the fuel cell. After the demonstration, in the year of 1838, Sir William Rowe invented the first fuel cell. The help of the help of the principle of fuel cell by Sir Humphrey Davy. After invention of uh, fuel cell by Sir William Grove, in the year of 1889, Charles Langer and Ludwig Mohn developed the first fuel cell. Basically, it is after a half century century of invention, first fuel cell was developed by Charles Langer and Ludwig. After the year of 1889, then it take long time to invent new type of fuel cell. So in 1950, proton exchange member fuel cell or PEMFC was invented by General Electric. After the 1950. In the year of 1959, alkaline fuel cell was demonstrated by Sir Francis Bacon. So Francis Bacon first demonstrated the alkaline fuel cell in the year of 1959. After the first demonstration of alkyl fuel cell, the next year means in the year of 1960, NASA first used the fuel cell in their space mission. So basically, after invention of alkyne fuel cell, this was used as a um, fuel cell in space mission under NASA in the year of 1960, first time. After that, in the year of 1970, called Cordes builds the first fuel cell car. In the year of 1970, Carl Cordes builds the first fuel cell car. Then, in the year of 1993, Ballard Power System, Ballard Power System launches first proof of concept hydrogen fuel cell bus. In the year of 1970, first fuel cell car was invented by a bill, bill by Carl Cordes. And in the year of 1993, a hydrogen fuel cell bus was still first to be launched by barrel power system. After the 1963, in the year of 1996, oh. Damilar Benz and Toyota to inhale. Prototype fuel cell power passenger car. So, power fuel cell power passenger car prototype was unveiled by Daimler Benz and Toyota in the year of 1996. After that, in the year of 2001, so that the 2001. Honda opens first production and fueling station in Torrance, California. So, Torrance is the city of California where Honda first opens, first produce and opens a fuel station in the year of 2001. So, this is the basic timeline of mm, sorry, you know, fuel cell. So it comes from 1801, then 1838, then 1889, then 
1996 and 2001 and so on so this is the timeline of fuel cell so come to the next slide so after completing the procedure the next is construction so after knowing the working principle and their procedure so we need to know about the construction of the fuel cell to uh, to construct a fuel cell four parts are more important anode cathode electrolyte and catalyst in the diagram this is the cathode this is the anode this is the electrolyte so let's start with these four parts and describe elaborately first one is anode anode is a negative post of the fuel cell anode is the negative post of the fuel cell because every every fuel cell has two posts one is positive and another is negative so the negative post is known as the anode. It conducts the electron that are freed from the hydrogen molecule. So that they can be used in an external circuit. Anode <coughs> basically conducts the electron. Um, and from where electron comes comes from? The electron comes from Basically, it fed from the hydrogen molecules. So, hydrogen molecules fed electrons fed from the hydrogen molecules, and that electrons that the division of the hydrogen is held in the anode. So, it can be an external circuit. After that, each channel displays hydrogen gas over the surface of the catalyst. Each channel this is hydrogen gas over the heart of the catalyst. So this is the physical anode. Next one is cathode is the positive post of the fuel cell. So as we know every fuel, every fuel cell has two terminal one is positive another is negative. So positive negative portion is known as cath uh, anode and so positive portion is known as the cathode so cathode is the positive portion of the fuel cell here yeah. each channel distributed oxygen to the surface of the catalyst in the cathode each channel distribute oxygen to the surface of the catalyst then conducts electron back from the external circuit and they cannot conduct the, they conduct the electrons back to the external circuit to the catalyst recombine with the hydrogen ion and oxygen to form their water with the help of anode hydrogen is divided hydrogen plus ion and electrons then electron goes to the outside to the external circuit that electrons come back to the cathode from the external circuit and and uh, and or hydrogen is made with the oxygen and produce water so this is the working method of the cathode so after knowing about the cathode let's go to the slide the next slide is on based on electrolyte basically in here photon proton exchange member is used as an electrolyte which is specially treated as real only when the positive charged 
as we learned earlier with us so in the previous slide we learned that hydrogen fuel is jet on anode and there it divided into hydrogen plus ion and electron so after the division just it was an electrolyte collect uh, collect the positive charge so they can only accept the hydrogen plus ion to enter the electrolyte and other and waste the electrons which is for moving around the electrolyte it was to the help of the external circuit so membrane so, allowed on the positive charged not the electron so this is the basic thing is the electrolyte next catalyst special material that facilitated facilitates reaction of oxygen and hydrogen usually platinum powder very thinly coated onto carbon paper or cloth platinum powder very thinly coated onto the carbon paper or cloth rough and porous maximizes surface area exposed to hydrogen or oxygen rough and porous maximizes surface area exposed hydrogen or oxygen the platinum coated side of the catalyst faces the pem proton exchange member the platinum coated side of the catalyst faces the proton exchange member. so this very catalyst is used to facilitate the reaction of oxygen and hydrogen in normally platinum powder is used for the catalyst this powder very thinly coated this platinum powder is very thinly coated onto the carbon paper or cloth the platinum coated side of the catalyst faces the pem or proton exchange member so student these are the four parts which is need to construct a fuel cell anode cathode electrolyte and the catalyst after knowing the construction of fuel cell next few types of fuel cell basically there are five types of fuel cell first one is alkyl alkaline fuel cell or a f c so first one is alkaline fuel cell a f c second one is proton exchange membrane fuel cell or p e m f c proton exchange membrane fuel cell third one is phosphoric acid fuel cell p a f c or phosphoric acid fuel cell next is fourth one is molten carbonate fuel cell mc fc and next one is solid oxide fuel cell s o f c solid oxide fuel cell so students these are the types of fuel cell so from from this from this lecture session you can learn about the fuel cell definition of fuel cell this well, its working nature is convert the chemical to electrical then 
Next is it is sorry. Next is history. Then we will learn about the timeline of the female cell. After that, we have we will learn knowing the working principle of this female cell. Beside the working principle, we will gathering knowledge about the procedure and construction of female cell. And we will know right now. We will know about the types of the female cell. In the next lecture session or lecture session two, we will discuss the types of female cell elaborately. So still down, stay safe and stay healthy. Any other? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, student. Thank you so much. So, so then, so in the in, in today's class, well, so student in this today's class, we discuss about the female cell, its definition. We covered here the its definition, history, timeline, its working principle, procedure, and construction. And we can just we are just. Introduce about the types about the types of the fuel cell. So on the next class we will discuss the we will discuss the discuss we will start the in the next class we will start with these various types of fuel cell. So still then stay at home and stay safe. Thank you. Thank you so much, class.